What's up Vape fam? Today we're taking a look at the X2 RDA from Vapors Cloud. Uh, the X2 is basically a step up, I guess you would say, from the X1. A few changes, I have the X1, uh, so we'll do a comparison now as we go up close for the breakdown to see what makes it vape. Alright, here we are up close with the X2 RDA. Just the packaging it comes in. If you've seen some of my other uh, Vapors Cloud reviews, you've probably seen this box before. Magnetic flip top. Inside you've got the RDA. You've got a little bag of goodies. Uh, copper center, or a copper positive post. It's not center. Um, some extra grub screws, O-rings, some more peak insulators, Allen key. Little tool. Uh, then you've got the RDA itself. Um, I've got the X1 here. show you a comparison when we get to the deck. Uh, a couple things to note right off the bat, like right there, there's a tiny little bit of the paint coming off. Um, it has been coming off slowly with just regular use. It hasn't been dropped. You can see it there around the bottom coming off, some on the X coming off. Um, so the, the paints do come off. It's actually flaking off pretty quite a bit right now. Uh, you have your chuff cap. It's the exact same as the X1. Uh, the let me find something to thread this onto real quick. The uh, the cap itself is pretty similar with the exception of the airflow holes. There we go. Like I said, pretty much identical except for the airflow holes are much larger and obviously the X2 instead of the X1. Uh, then we move on to the deck. Now the deck is actually quite a bit different. First and foremost, these airflow slots are much, much bigger than on the X1. Uh, and second of all, all the, uh, the deck design itself is different. You have a positive block and a negative block. Uh, let me grab it. Here's the X1. Airflow hole size. Deck layout. Quite different. Um, Height-wise, your coils are going to be a little bit higher in the X1 as well. Uh, a little bit sit sitting a little bit lower in the X2, closer to the uh, incoming air. Um, so the design is different uh, on the post. You have the, a positive post in the center on the X1, and your positive post is here on the side, with your negative post on the opposite side on the X2. Uh, size is the same. They're both 24. Um, but the airflow is considerably, considerably more wide open. Uh, the airflow, in my opinion, is better on this. Here's the bottom. It is hybrid compatible, like most of their RDAs. Uh, and I do actually prefer this deck design that is in the X2. Um, let me show you something other than the paint that I have a little bit of a problem with with this, though. All right. I was just going to go ahead and do it, but I figured some of you might want to see this process. I'm going to put the copper post in real quick. I'm going to take the 510 pin out. Like so, I'm just going to push up there. See the post came up a little bit on the uh, positive side. I'm just gonna grab it and keep on wiggling. Now these are tight fits. There we go. Popped it the rest of the way out, and there is your positive post. Now. Here's what, bog what bothers me. The copper post is a little bit shorter. Now it doesn't doesn't interfere with the performance, uh, but it is painfully obvious when you look at it. There you go. Uh, you can see the height was trimmed down a little bit more on the copper block, uh, so it does sit lower in the RDA itself. Um, as I said, the performance is still there, but it is just enough to bother me personally, so I have been running the, uh, the, the standard post that comes in it. Um, I don't know if this was just an early batch problem, or if it's still continuing. I haven't seen many people talking about it, so I'm going to hope that it was an early batch problem. Um, but I cannot say for sure. There we go. Pop that in, and then it is just putting the 510 pin back in. Nice and easy. Um, 
So I will go ahead and put a build in this, and then we will go back up top, and we will talk about it, and we will vape on it a little bit. Alright guys, that was the up close and breakdown with the X2 and the comparison to the X1 deck. Um, there's a few pros and cons we're going to go over here because uh, there's a few things that I really like, a few things that I don't care for all that much. Um, in terms of a comparison to the X1, the airflow on this is much, much better. Uh, much more wide open, less, there's really no tightness at all. Wide open is just a straight draw. Definite improvement. All in all, I would say that the actual function of it is much better than the X1 as a whole. But uh, a couple things I don't like about it is this coating that they use. I want to call it paint. Um, I'm pretty sure it's paint, but it's like a high temp paint, I guess. Um, it flakes off. So th there's a bunch of spots that you probably saw in the breakdown uh, where the silver was showing through underneath the Tiffany Blue um, because it is already flaked off. It's already coming off. Um, so that's a bit of a letdown. The other thing is that copper post, uh, it functions perfectly fine, but aesthetically it just bothers me a little bit that it's shorter than the other one when it's in. Um, other than that, it's really well put together. The cap is basically the same with wider air holes, and uh, obviously it says X2 instead of X1. Um, the deck, the design has changed. I like this design better. It uh, lets me fit a little bit longer coil in there. Uh, because I can just stack them up on t into the two outside holes if I want to use the full diameter of the deck. Um, other than that, there's not really any difference between the two, um, but, I mean, that's quite a bit of a difference in and of itself, uh, post-design and airflow increase. Um, so if you're looking at the X1 and the X2 and you're trying to decide which one is the one for you, the X2, preferably without the coating maybe, unless you don't care if it rubs off over time, uh, the X2 is probably going to perform better because you can always just knock the airflow down if it is still too much for you, but you can't really open the airflow up on the X1 at all. Um, they're the same price, uh, $49.99. Right now the X2 is sold out, uh, so that is a bit of a letdown. Obviously it is hybrid compatible, almost all of their stuff is. Uh, Vapors Cloud does a lot of hybrid RDAs, hybrid mods. Um, so other than that, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, like, subscribe, it helps me out. Um, I know I've been away for a little while. Uh, there's a lot of stuff coming. The channel hasn't died. I just had a little bit of a hiatus. Um, so if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below, and I will do my best to get to them. Uh, like always, I hope to see you guys again soon. Till next time, suck, blow, and keep on vaping.